right, hey everybody. Uh, welcome back to uh, the Martial Arts Limited Association YouTube channel. This is J.D. Olson with KC Dojo Martial Arts Unleashed and part of the Martial Arts Limited Association. I am actually the director. And so today I have a video we're going to take the, um, the Hoopa transition drills we did last time. Check the link above and we're going to go ahead and give you some Aikido joint locks that are going to tie this together. So um, Aikido right now is kind of a little bit more eclectic style. There are a lot of people that really are kind of confused on how to apply Aikido to any kind of combat, and I totally get it. The, uh, the Aikido we do in Martial Art Limited is actually a combative Aikido, so it already has kind of a combative element to it, and so by using Kali drills and JKD drills, it's actually easier to show like, hey, this is applicable in actually some form of combat. You can kind of see it a little bit better. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, I'm really excited to show this to you, so let's get into it, all right? So we're going to start with the straight huba like we did the last time, okay? And so from straight huba, I'm able to jump right into a couple different locks. So the first technique I'm going to use is what we call ikkyo. So I'm, so I'm doing this here, what's going to happen is I'm going to do a bridge, okay? So that's my first thing. So right here, I bridge. And as soon as I bridge, I'm going to hit with my secondary hand on his elbow. And I'm going to punch him into that, into a door that's kind of, that I think is out of frame. But there's a door behind him, and I'm basically just going to go, and I am now in Ikkyo, okay? Meaning the first principle of Aikido. And there's a lot of things I can do from here. I can actually drop back, and I can go into whatever. But that's not what we're, we're going for right now. We're just trying to show how to do this. So when I'm here, I just drop, and then I fire. And this is Ikkyo. Okay, so again, just like so, okay? So I drop that and I fire right here. All right, so that's our first one, Ikkyo. Now I'm gonna go into Sankyo, my all-time favorite for this drill. So here I am, so I take it, and then I go, okay? And the, the more you drill anything, of course, the better it gets. Practice makes permanent. So as we're here, even if he maintains the rhythm of huba, so if I go slow, you're gonna maintain the rhythm of the huba. So if I go too slow, like I would get clocked, right? So we're here, so I go. I can be really quick about it. And I can monitor the hand, and now here, that's why I rip his shoulder out of socket. Sorry. You're good. So, as I'm here, I go right here. And I step through. I duck underneath his armpit to make sure I'm good to go. Okay? And there's that. If we switch directions, I'll do Ikkyo first, and then I'll do Sankyo again. So remember, I just make that bridge and I step over, okay? And Ikkyo is considered a transitory position, so it's not something I finish with. It's just something to get everything kind of going. And then the second one was Sankyo. Right here, I step through. And then I always step back with the leg closest to the person so I can monitor them, okay? If I was this way, he can twist, he can do funny things. So when I step back, I'm actually able to monitor him, and if he starts doing stuff, I can crank a little bit more and add pressure to it, okay? And for the third one, okay, we're actually gonna, um, we're gonna take this right into what's called Kodagashi. And this is the famous Steven Seagal technique that everybody loves, myself included. So we're here like this, okay? And I'm gonna try to do this pretty slow so you can track everything. So I'm right here. I get myself like this, and I'm gonna immediately cut myself back into that line. And that's where the wrist lock is, and he should go flying that way. So again, I'll go slow, and then I'll do it at speed. So right here, I get here, and then I go here, okay? So in a decent speed, there's where it's at, okay? I can pull him around and I can rip it. I can make his body move to add the more oomph in if I want to. So 
So I'm here, I pull him, and then I rip it right over. And he would go, wee, boom. All right? Let's go ahead and recap each one really quick. Just make sure you guys got it. Slow motion. First one. Make that bridge. Push over. Second one. Pass it through. Get yourself to the Sankyo position. Third one. Kodagashi right here. And then back. And more often than not, I don't do all the movements, I make them, but if you're a really small person, you might have to do more of the work, okay? Alright, so I'm going to give you a fourth one, uh, Gokyo, the fifth principle of Aikido. Remember, uh, Kodagashi meant wrist turn out, Sankyo was the third principle of Aikido, now we're going to do the fifth principle of Aikido. So, here I am. So here's what I like. If I go this way, I lead myself into Sankyo. Okay, so now if I overpress, I get to here and I'm in the Gokyo position. So just like Sankyo, but maybe you forgot, maybe you messed up, maybe, I don't know, make anything, right? You overpress, so now you're here. I always step back with the lead leg, and that's what pulled him down. So when I reach over the top and I'm right here and I make his fingertips point to the sky, I step back and I kind of pull that to my belly button. And that's what causes the lock and then it makes him go down. So I overpress and now I'm here. You see my elbow coming in close and then boom, you got all kinds of fun stuff to do from there. All right, one more time. Overshot it and then here. Let's switch sides. You guys can see on the other side. I overpress. This hand comes over the top. Again, you bring their fingers to the sky. I actually think Toy Story, reach for the sky. Okay, and then I step back. And this is where I'm at. And again, you could, oh, you could have some fun with it if you really wanted to. All right? And you can make these pretty quick. And to make it a little bit more combative, we can do what we call in the pocket Gokyo. I grab his, and now I got him here too. Okay, and now, hey, how you doing? All right. Well, great. So there you have four joint locks. Okay, thank you, Mr. Ryan, for helping out. Uh, four joint locks for anybody who's working on the uh, hula transitions or the energy drills to kind of blend. This is kind of like a true, to me, Jeet Kune Do thing we're taking all ways and using them as one. You say, hey, this Aikido lock works. Hey, this Kali stuff, this uh, transition stuff is working for me. Let me go ahead and merge the two together and let me make it all work into something. All right, well, I hope you get something out of this. Um... Well, perfect, there you have uh, some joint locks that are tied into the Huba drills, the energy transition drills. And so again, Huba means to tie and untry or officially means to undress. Uh, you see a lot of huba in the JKD system and in the Wing Chun system, and there's actually a lot in the Filipino system. And so when we do huba, there's always like, okay, well, what's next? And then the same thing I think with Aikido. A lot of people make fun of Aikido, like, well, how do you get there? And I, and I think they're right. There's some, val there's some validity to that. How do you get there? Well, I use these drills to help me enter into those joint locks. Um, awesome. Well, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. And also hit that like and hit that bell so you know when other videos are coming out. We do two videos a week. Every Tuesday we do a Technique Tuesday. And then we also try to do a three minute Thursday or a quick video on Thursdays. No more than five minutes. I try to do three minutes, but the last couple have been a little bit longer. Uh, but again, there's your two videos a week. So go ahead. Stay tuned. We have lots more coming. We'll see you next time.